I helped him work on his car, you know, keeping that going. And he's helped me with all the electrical problems I had here. And we hung out all the time. I, I just, he'd stop by every day after work. My wife started hating him. And he was an electrician, right? Okay. So he, um, he married Tara and they had a baby. Um, how, how would you describe that? Was he, was he a devoted father? How would you describe him as a dad? Uh, he was, he was awesome. He did everything he needed to do, you know, his, his kids loved him. You know, I would always see pictures of her climbing all over him and, uh, he spent every chance he could, you know, at the house with him. You know, he wasn't anywhere. He was just here, you know, never really went anywhere else. You were wondering what time his phone went off Friday. Was it Friday morning? Eight o'clock Friday morning when Rob called Danny. Mm -hmm. And then after that, no well, more. Well, Rob never really used his phone. It was an emergency use only phone. His mother gave him just to have in the car. So if he picked up that phone to make like six phone calls a month, it was a lot. Okay. And it just stayed in his glove box really. So, I mean, nobody ever called him. And it, it's the only time it was ever used was just a few times, really, you know. And that morning was one of them. And so Tara told us that you, she knew, like, obviously something was wrong Friday that he disappeared. And you were the one that said, like, you need to call the police. What made you, like, well, how did you know something was wrong? It wasn't adding up before that happened. Yeah, I felt it coming. Oh, really? Yeah, well, me and him kind of had a little argument only a week or two before. You and uh, Rob? Yeah. What um, was the argument about? Well, my wife just bitching about him coming by every day after work, and he was leaving stuff here to get rid of, and... She said he just... He couldn't leave nothing here anymore, and he'd find somewhere else to put everything, and... He'd been messing around, hanging out with that other guy, and I really didn't like him anyway. The fe uh, fennel? Fennel. Mm -hmm. So it sounded to me... So he had... Tara thought he was going to work that day, and then she told us when we talked with her um, the other night that, you know, she found out that, that you know, she... He wasn't due at work. Do you... Was that something that you think was a regular thing for him? Was he kind of... Well, it was about probably a three month period where he had to lie to her. You know, he was bringing in extra money and she couldn't know where it was coming from. And it was once a month he was going for the drive to New York. So he had to have some alibi for that day and a reason why he was bringing money home. He wanted to take him to Disney World. That was where they needed to go. He was saving up. How much money do you think Rob had that day? Are we talking like a couple thousand dollars? Or? Probably three or four thousand. Maybe Before the trip up? Because oh, is he yeah. going to go buy some drugs and then bring them back down to sell? Yeah. What What kind of drugs was he? Just bought. Yeah. White Widow is what he was after. White Widow? Yeah. Is that What is that? It's just a good pot. You know? White, good looking bud. He can make double his money on it. Can you just describe how that's been hard, just not to have any closure or not to, you know, know what what happened or where he is? Well, I kind of feel like I know what happened. What do you think happened? I don't think he ever left Savannah County. 